The more some things change, the more they remain the same. The story of the fits that befell national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, is apt to the acting national chairman of the APC, Abubakar Kiari, who took over from Abdullahi Adamu, declined to shed light on the saga. Some party chieftains have explained the reason behind the sudden resignation of Adamu. We just um, paraphrased through this yesterday and we weren't able to shed light to the story. It was just breaking at, at that time. Now we have kind of better insights to what happened. Yes, I think um, by and large, Adamu could not have said to have held the NWC together. He had an NWC that, in which members were pulling in different directions. They didn't quite like his style of leadership, especially his um, uh, know-it-all syndrome, his um, habit of trying to go it alone uh, without uh, carrying others along. You know that... Uh, Salio Lukman, a man who will make a better career as a labor activist than a politician, has repeatedly said, this chairman does not call meetings. And not even calling meetings is against the constitution of the party. The constitution stipulates how many times you can have a meeting within a quarter, for example. And then you go not just a quarter, you go six months, you won't even call meetings. That negates the spirit of accountability because people need to know what is going on. But if you found a way to simply take decisions alone, bypassing other stakeholders, there's no way that you won't be faced with mutiny. People can say all kinds of things, oh, Tinobu does not like him because uh, he did not support Tinobu from the uh, get-go. It is possible for you to not support a Tinobu from the get-go and, and warm, become, your way. Yeah, warm your way into his heart. We've seen people did that. And tomorrow when you look back, you will say, ah, is he not the same person that wrote an article abusing Tinobu the other day? People, people can point out. Some of the people working with the president today, people can point at articles that they wrote, yes. calling him names. Yes. yes. If they tell us to, to bring some of those well, articles, we have we'll business. bring. Mm. You know, it doesn't mean that people can't work together. Yes. We saw even with the former chief of staff. Remember a distinguished journalist who, who later worked in the government, wrote a, a, an article chastising the man. Yeah. But it didn't stop them from working together. Mm. Abi? Yes. You, yes. See, you saw that article? Yes, I did. Oh, so now, it is about, the Yorubas will say, oh, man, buy your wash, and when you buy your shit, yeah. it's about the way you do the job. Yeah, exactly. That person could eventually conclude that, oh, I don't even need anybody else. This guy has shown me that I can do this job. Yes. But if you had an attitude that looked adversarial from the get-go, and... Things work the way you didn't want them to go. Eventually, that person became your principal. Do you, does it make sense to still sustain that disposition towards the person? I mean, if you sustain it, then that person will come to the conclusion that we can't work together. We simply can't work together. It's like having an enemy within your workforce. So that's one mistake on the part of, uh, of uh, this chairman. Because, I mean, look, even if people, some of us opposed the emergence of Tajuddin Abbas, for example, because we felt he should have gone to uh, the North Central. Because we also felt that it was unusual to have um, one zone produce two out of four presiding officers. It's unprecedented. We talked about, we opposed it. But that's where it ends. If I were in the party, for example, and holding a leadership position, some of the things that I say here, you know I can't say it. And if I will say it, it will be within my closet. I won't say it publicly. But if a chairman comes out, something is hurting him, and he sees uh, the battery of uh, cameramen, 
with their cameras trained on his face and he's saying those things so that people will then report that there is a crisis, crisis there is rancor within the party. You are making it obvious to people that you do not go along with these people. And ultimately, they will find a way to get rid of you. Now, everyone is, uh, uh, because likely, look, uh, Salu Lukman, comrade, has been talking about this lack of accountability. Let us know how much you spent. We collected uh, uh, more than 30 billion from nomination, form. nomination forms. You know, when we interviewed him here, he said that he cannot bet that they still have up to 10, 10 billion left. Mm. So now, where is that accountability? When he said so, a more circumspect chairman will have shut him up by coming up with, sort okay, this is how much we have left. This is how much we have left. This is how much we have spent. Mm. You simply ignored him. Mm. And then the, that notion began to build up in people that it's like these people are not transparent. Yeah. Even the statement of account for 2022. Yes. Of the All of that. You, 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 you set, naturally set the stage mm. for what has happened today. Just. No one is saying that, look, he's not a good person. He's not, no, but it goes beyond that. You have to show people that you are accountable. You have to show people. Give them the evidence. Don't just, and when someone makes all of this noise, you are trying to uh, expel him from the party. Instead of addressing the issues he that raised. he raised, you are giving ammunition to your enemies. So that one day they will just come up and say, look, Mr. President, look at this person is not listening to us, he's not accountable. When you do that, before you know it, look at that NWC where they've not been having meetings. Mm -hmm. see, the, see the huge turnout. Mm. See the huge turnout. See the huge turnout. They came because they already made their, up their minds that they were tired of this man. Mm. That's, what, that's what we've seen. And anybody who is taking over, whether it's our friend Kiari or anybody, he too has to be accountable. You are the people's leader. You have to show them what you are doing. This is how much you have spent. So simply ignore them. Mm. and believe that they can't do anything, uh -uh. they can't do so much. That's what we have seen. Mm. Harry, so where did he, Adamo get it wrong? Ah. Mm. Pico just uh, enumerated uh, uh, Adamo's uh, many sins, as I want to put it. <laughs> Some of it. Right from the word go, Adamo came in in a controversial manner. That's something a lot of people commenting today are mm. have forgotten. Mm -hmm came in a very controversial. Some people within the leadership will still tell you he was not democratically elected. Of course not. There are those who are saying oh, that. Yes, no. And they are holding on to it. Like BKO yeah. said, he could have saved the day by being a popular leader. Don't give that appellation to him. Abinishio, Senator Adamu, was not a popular leader of the ruling APC. Popularity was far from anything you would describe him as. Because the way he came in was still debatable. Some people still refuse to accept him as being a democratic uh, leader. Then, his own disposition to leadership and working with people. He also cannot be described as a team player. No, no. I don't like you. No. He, was, he did not come across as a team player. Every member of the NWC complained. Even Iola Mishori, who later became some sort of his close ally, earlier complained about his time. Yes. You, you, you recall. So, there, there seems to be nobody who found him a team player. If you put that aside, there has been the allegations of uh, uh, mishandling, allegations, allegedly, mishandling of the finance of the party. This could be true. It could turn out to be untrue. But what did Adamu do to show us that whoever is saying that is not saying the truth? I'll tell you, he did nothing. All he could have done after uh, the allegation first uh, blew open was to come up with a statement of account, especially about the money collected from aspirants. This is what we collected. This is what we have spent. Legitimately, within the rules and regulations of the party, there are monies he can sign. There are those he needs the neck. approval of the NWC. There are also those he needs the neck 
to approve. Perhaps he has gone outside his mandate. And that's why he made no effort to explain away the many allegations that stand him in the face. And gradually, we all knew, as uh, people who have covered politics, for that this man is only marking time. Mm. It, it, some politicians didn't have, I mean, some national chairman didn't have as much allegations and they were swept aside. Yes. We knew the day would come when he would go. And to add to it is the fact that the APC is the ruling party. A sitting president will not allow something or somebody who will constantly brew crisis to be in charge of the party. No. Nobody will do that. Whoever is saying they can see the hand of uh, the president there, they are just being, uh, they are just saying what should be the obvious it's truth. Omish or not the president. No, the Omish okay. is the president's ally. Okay. His nominee. Do you perhaps the national secretary they gain another powerful figure in, um, the, within the NWC mm -hmm. was consumed in this and we're looking at <laughs> you know, what might have gone mm. um, the man uh, they did not get along mm. you know but along the way they began to get along they got much yes, they began to get along and um, when it comes to running the party if you are complaining that the secretariat is not properly run the person to hold responsible is the secretary. Yes. Because it's the secretary that Very powerful. the secretariat. He does more work than the chairman. Mm. You know? So Adamu may have some of his feelings. But in the running of the secretariat, it is difficult, if not impossible, to, um, so, to wash Omishore clean mm. of some of the infractions, the things that people are complaining about. So I think the NWC members just got tired of both of them. I'm telling you, people who normally would not even attend meetings, they, all sh they showed up. Everybody. Mm. The people mm. didn't show up, they had one reason or another. Cogent reasons. And they gave reasons why they, 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 they could not make it. People like the woman leader, for example, mm. they gave reasons that, uh, for not making it. So there was already unanimity. Mm. You know? Within Consensus the does not mean unanimity. Mm. But there was already unanimity amongst them that, look, these individuals had to go so that we can uh, run the party properly and uh, the right people can take charge of the affairs of the party. And there are people who, in the fact, have been badly treated, who now see what has happened as something that God ordained. So to such people, there is no way an omissionary will smell like roses. There's nothing you can say to those people. They just felt, look, these individuals had to go. And let's face it, once they made up their mind like that, you don't expect the president to say, no, I disagree. It's best for him, since it's the yeah. overall decision of the NWC members, it's best for the president to just let them have their way. It's not everything that you intervene and try to stop, no. Because they are, the one, they are the ones who sit together at meetings. They are the ones who work together. Well, you cannot impose a leader on them. In the case of Adamu, Mr. President, that was the only person that Mr. President asked for. You know, the governor yeah. shared the post. The former president. And the former mm -hmm. president. Uh, Buhari. Yes. He the insisted. shared the post yes. amongst yes. themselves. But the, uh, the Buhari insisted that they should be given the... Abdullah Adamu. Yes. That they should be given the uh, yeah, privilege of picking the chairman. They waited, they waited, they delivered, but in the end, they let the president have his way. That was the only position. Even some of the president's close friends did not survive. Mm. People like uh, uh, um, this man from Jigawa, um, Ruf, uh, Rufai, from Jigawa State, long term ally of the president. They didn't, they didn't vote for him. People like uh, former Senate president from Enugu State, yeah. uh, Ken Namani. Lost they, out. they lost out. So, but the president had his way with the chairman. And this same chairman told governors that the president had told him that it was a uh, um, former Senate president, president that and would be the consensus candidate. candidate. Mm -hmm. The governors I'm went to the president. The governors didn't believe him. They went to the president. The president they said, yeah. We told you to pick someone. You, you told us that they should all go and contest. When did you decide, sir? that your choice was uh, Ahmed Lawan. 
Mr. President then told them no. I never said, I never said so. To a lot of those people, it was an opportunity to uh, deal with. Uh, that was a slip. Uh, a fundamental one, slip no, that should that's, that's why I said that had been issue. It started off. Yes, on some people didn't expect that. It will even stay till this time. Yes, yes, that, yes. that was the even prime if, target. Even if President uh, Tinubu, in his usual manner, mm. decided that, look, that happened in the past. Let's move on together. Mm. I tell you, a lot of people, people within the system are still they unforgiven. Yes, yes. And they see him as somebody who can do the same thing again, given the opportunity. Yes, and then you begin to look at... No, was he not the one who even uh, granted uh, an interview where he said Ashwaju will be punished? Yes. For the comments that he made. he made in Abel yes. Kuta. Yes. He, 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 he said that two Saturday... Then, when the when list, the when the commercial. consensus list for... National Assembly came out again mm. after the election. Mm. He was quick to say, uh, yes. come from the party. Well, we come from the party. party. Mm. Uh, he was quick to say enough consultations were not made. And we're not and and even, not even, about even the, the, the even the um, even recently yes. when um, uh, those leaders, the leaders of the committees, yes, were, were also and the other uh, uh, said an order. Leaders like party caucus leaders yes, and the rest, yes. majority leader, mm -hmm. principal officers. Yes. Mm. He, said it was he also of, said that uh, said it was decision of the not that he did not know about National it. Assembly, that he's not aware. You, so are not you aware. see him making statements that make him look like you use the right to have a kill. He continued to be adversarial. adversarial. Mm. He, he, he I was told that he didn't follow the, the class of 1999, mm. the governors led by Lucky Bonadio. And that's one way. And he was the chairman. Of the governors then in '99, so all obviously the chairman the Abbas Manjo used to call him gov the governor general. Yeah, mm. yeah because he was the was governor the of the governors. His mm. his his disposition didn't help his case. No, yeah, mm. they not. It they was just not. a matter of time. They not. And then that is why you are seeing it going seamless because there was no protest. He's unpopular. No protest. And no protest. Mm. So both the APC and PDP now have. Acting, acting, German. So, the, the weak case of this world have succeeded in pushing, um, uh, yeah, uh, are you to the backwaters uh, of politics? I, I don't to see, I don't see, you are you no longer sorry. talks? Mm. And the case we are not even hearing about no, no, the, no, no, the case is going on. Uh, and the last time the case came up, it was still the same thing. Is that is just stay away. Stay away. Mm. And so, you, his, his, his own chances of returning are slim. And the APC now would obviously have to have uh, a okay. mini convention or whatever. Yeah, well, I think. Um, and if they are happy with Abaka Kiari's position, no, Abaka Kiari gave up his senatorial seat to become to pick deputy. Up this. Yes. Oh. He, was, he had won election. Oh. Uh, he was in the Senate oh. representing uh, Borno North. Okay. You know? And he had to give it up to. Just yeah. like Adamo himself. Yes. Mm. You know, so and now by the time you begin to consider the issue of zoning, you may still have to go to the North Central. Yes. yes. And uh, so the even if they have an extraordinary neck yeah. or convention, yeah. they may Many eventually uh, ratify its yeah. position. Okay. They may yeah. eventually, yes. They may. Yeah, they can because Kerry is an ally of the vice president. Exactly. You know, uh, he was his commissioner. And uh, he was also uh, a commissioner of Home Affairs, Works Commissioner, Chief of Staff, you know. So it's safe. Uh, it might be safe to just leave him there. That he trusted him. Yeah, yes, because he's, he's a Shetima person, true and true. Uh, obviously, and they, they automatically is a Tinubu person. They, they will feel very comfortable with, with him. him. Mm. And it, it also depends on how he runs the party. In the short time, he will. He was act. saying something that, look, we have different styles, you know. So it's not, he's a very humble Cool, unassuming very, person. Yes. So that kind of leader may sit yeah. well with, with uh, the... uh, these uh, people. That's, that woman is the deputy woman leader. Okay. Oh. okay. There are uh, many of them there. I mean, they all, they all came. His, his ability to muzzle all these people to come mm. shows No, that. it's significant. You know, yeah. in politics, when they want to do this, when yeah. they want to plan a coup, they will come. It's always easy to mobilize. Okay. 